Coming up next on this episode of Inside the Lair with Kirby and Blair, we talk about something that hasn't happened here at KW since 2012. Coach Lurkin tied his own tie? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Inside the Lair is coming up next. Inside the Lair. of Inside the Lair with Kirby and Blair is brought to you by Christmas in Wanamingo, Thursday, December 5th, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Come see Santa at JB's starting at 5. And visit local businesses for all your favorite holiday treats. And by Christmas in Kenya, Saturday, December 7th from 9 a.m. to midnight. Come visit Santa again at the Security State Bank of Kenya from 9 to noon. Come to the Christmas tree lighting at Veterans Park at 415. And students from the Kenyan Wanamingo Band and Choir will be performing at both events. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to Christmas in Kenyan and Christmas at Wanamingo to satisfy your Christmas needs. All right, back to you, Kirby and Blair. One good afternoon, Night Nation. It is Thursday, December 5th, yeah. and you are inside the lair with Kirby and Blair. He's Kirby, I am Blair, and right. we have a lot to talk about here. The winter season in full swing, yes, and our, our teams are getting after it, and they're doing pretty good, too. Let's start with girls basketball. They've had the longest uh, duration of games. They're 1-2 and two on the season. Last Friday night, uh, over Thanksgiving break, they went to Faribault, took on BA, and beat them by 24, a score of 54-30. to 30. A nice win for them. And then Monday, they come back, not a lot of practice time in between, uh, and lost to Wem by a score of 64-45. to 45. Yeah, those holiday breaks, it's tough to, you know, keep that practice game flow yep. consistent with the regular season. But anyways, let's go back to the BA game, Blair. Yep. Great victory for our girls. Ended up going 1-1 uh, one and one then uh, after that game. But Megan Madsen had an incredible game, Blair. 20, let's see, how many points? 20 points. 20 points, 19 rebounds. That's incredible. A heck of a game, Blair. And they played great defense, too. And I watched them against Waterville, Legion, Morristown. They had the lead at halftime, and uh, they just ran out of offense. But that, for that one half, they were playing very well, hitting shots, making good plays, playing intense, being more physical like Coach Emi uh, wants them to be. It was really fun basketball to watch. Just ran out of offense there in the second half. Yeah, I think they're looking for an offensive identity, too. They have a lot of players that can score, but it's a, it's a matter of getting everybody put together. You've got different ages here, so you, you're playing with some people that you've never played before. So I think this team is going to be a lot better there, Am, as the season goes. So, uh, yeah, your Knights, your Knights are going to be on uh, the schedule tomorrow night. They're going to host Stewartville, uh, a game that uh, will be important here in the conference. And then on Tuesday night, another home game against the always very tough Goodhue team, a uh, team that's been in the state tournament more years than I can count in recent years. So this is, uh, this is going to be a good test for them. Um, you know, a good week of practice here. And then you get Stewartville, and then on Tuesday, a very good Goodhue team, and you got the matchup here of the brothers again. So, well, yeah, Goodhue's a powerhouse, and uh, they've they've kind of always had our number lately. But right. we've beat them a few times, we've shocked them a few times, and we're going to have to play our best defense of the year. Um, you know, we've been getting contributions from seniors Nora Wook, uh, Sydney Burrow, uh, Morgan Schaefer is going to be coming back here soon, um, and then. Let's see, who, who else am I missing in there? Sarah Krause. Yep. Sarah Krause. Juliana uh, Boyum. Right, Juliana Riley. Boyum. She's bringing the ball up, actually, yep. Juliana. Um, Maddie Lipke's helping bring the ball yep. up. But, you know, when they're when they're feeling good, pat, they're sh passing and distributing the ball so they get open shots, they score much easier. 
and uh, that's what it's going to take against Goodyear, who likes to play full court pressure. All right, we'll see what happens. Now let's talk about our boys' basketball team. And in our teaser, we talked about something that hadn't happened since 2012. Yeah. The answer to that question has nothing to do with Mr. Lurkin. Well, it kind of does because he's the coach now. He is. The boys' basketball team, for the first time in seven years, opened their season with a victory. And that victory came on Tuesday night when they beat B.A. here at home 60-54. to uh, A really good win for the Knights to start the season. I listened to it on KDHL, and uh, they had a lead of about 13 in the second half. B.A. trimmed it a little bit, but a nice victory for your Knights. Boy, it was fun to watch, Blair. Uh, the energy that they came out and played yeah. with, the intensity. I don't remember seeing that last year, Blair. The confidence seemed a little more a little more than what we saw in the past couple of years. Right. The, uh, the, the ball movement, sharing of the ball, everything looked much improved. The communication. All right, the physicality. We hit. We missed a few rebounds here and there, right. but overall, it was a fun game to watch. Like you said, we built up a, a thirteen point lead in the, set, in the first half, mainly on layups. But then, sometimes our shot selection in those moments, just like we threw something up that we should right. probably shot, and now they start to trim the lead. And then we built it back up to a thirteen point lead. They trim the lead. They got it down to I think two Blair, they two did. in the second two. half yep. with a minute or two left. Tate hit a couple big free throws. Riley Horn hit a big free throw. But we played our best defense that last possession when we were up by four. And uh, that's a good way to end the game. Coach Lurkin wants a few things. Work your tails off. Talk to each other on the court. And take good shots. You do that, you're going to have, probably have a good chance to win. Yeah, and I really like that, the fact that they, they, they B.A. come back and they push forward. And then B.A. Mm -hmm. come back again and they push forward. I think that's a sign of a team that's got some maturity and good leadership. Tate had 20 points. He really kind of took their team on the shoulder, but a lot of other guys can contribute. Casey Westberg had a nice game. we got some younger sophomores that are playing a lot um, and getting a lot of minutes, which is good for the future. Um, I really like the direction this team is going in. Yeah. Uh, tonight, they got a big test. They're going out to Janesville. They're going to play JWP in what you and I are referring to as the Kubo Classic. <laughs> Former uh, KW coach, yep, uh, assistant right. coach. Jeff Kubal now at uh, JWP, so uh, the Kubal Classic, and I heard he's going to be doing the, the uh, clock tonight, okay. so make sure that that clock doesn't spin right. too fast. no kidding. Um, and again, Coach Lurkin told me today that, that this is a team that they hung with last year, this is a team that they think they can play with tonight, and I think you're going to see a, a Knights team that definitely can compete tonight. It's on the road, it's going to be a tougher atmosphere to play in, mm -hmm. but boy, to start, if you could start your season 2-0, you couldn't ask for more as a coach. And then on uh, Tuesday night, you head to Goodhue, and you hear that name, Goodhue, and you go, boy, oh, boy, tough game. But if I recall right, Kirby, they got the win last year. They beat Goodhue yeah, last year. That's right. So, you know, I, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but, you know, this team is on a good start. If you could if you could knock out 3-0 here, that does well, a lot for you. Let's do one at a time. No, I know. One at a time. I know, PJ. One, one, PJ. We're, we're all in 0-0 we're zero, zero in that JWP week. Um I like that mentality. I do, too, I do too. But I think, I think as a fan, we can look at it and say, "Hey, these kids are gaining confidence." And what if? How great would that be? Well, uh, they got to do the work. Absolutely, they can't get ahead of themselves that way. But um, as coaches, you'd say one game at a time. As fans, we say, "Hey, wouldn't that be awesome if they could?" Do well, that? on paper, we're on paper. We look like we should be able to just play play with JWP or yeah. even better than JWP. But you, like we always say, you got to go earn it. You got to go yeah. deserve it. Key, key stat in that BA game. We forced them into 28 That's turnovers. Huge. We only had 14. All right? right? If we can win the turnover battle, we probably have a good chance to win. I'm here with Coach Lurkin, head boys basketball coach of the Knights. You're off to a nice start after that victory against BA, 60-54. to A really fun game. Tell us, what, what can we expect from the basketball team this year? Well, we're trying to hang our hats on our defense this year. Um, I think we started off playing uh, a great defensive game against Bethlehem Academy. Uh, forced 28 turnovers, got 30 points in the, um, 30 points in the game off of turnovers. So if we can continue to play great defense, um, that should help us even on those nights where maybe we don't have great shooting. I did notice that you guys switched up some defenses on that game. Played some one three one, played some man, um, played some full court pressure here and there. Also a lot of deflections. The other boys are starting to learn and kind of recognize when can I go up and get another deflection, possibly a steal. That was really fun to watch. <clears throat> I know one thing you guys are working on is the communication part. How can you how can you keep to improve that? 
keep yeah, improving that. It's something we're, we're working on every day in practice. You know, um, Whatever drill we're doing, we're talking to kids about communicating, whether they're part of the drill or whether they're watching. And so we've noticed that our gym's just a lot louder, and I, I like that. I think it's always good to have a lot of noise in the gym and kids talking and making noise. And um, It carried over somewhat to the game on, on Tuesday, but um, there's still room for improvement, and hopefully we play even better tonight. JWP, the Jeff Kubal Classic tonight. What's it going to take to take down the... the what are they, the Bulldogs? The Bulldogs, Bulldogs. At JWP tonight. Yeah, this is their first game of the season. So, um, okay. you know, we did play them last year. It was a really good game. Um, but they're going to be a little bit of a different team. But it looks like they got a couple guys. There's some good outside shooters. they got a, a tough post inside. So we're going to have our hands full. But it's their first game of the season. So I'm hoping that since we have a game under our belt, that should be an advantage for us. And hopefully we use it. Well, good luck tonight. Good luck the rest of the season. Keep working hard with those boys. they got a lot of potential. <laughs> Absolutely. So well, good luck to them. Uh, wrestling, let's not forget wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, wrestling hosts their opener tonight against Stewartville uh, right here at the Castle. One of those uh, rare home matches, but they, they uh, the night team looking like they're going to be good. We have some different uh, different lineups, different names in here. We got some guys that are graduated. We have some guys that are uh, no longer on the team. We have a new coach. Right. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to get to know this night's wrestling team this year. Well, didn't, didn't we lose something like seven seniors that went to the um, went to the state tournament as yep. individuals? Something like that. Seven we lost. So we're losing quite a, a few, lot of and then it, we've got a couple guys because of health reasons are not out. So we we right. and I don't think we have any seniors wrestling this year. I don't know. I know we're gonna have a seventh grader on varsity. I just right. heard in the hallway. Uh, Owen Craig's gonna wrestle tonight at okay. varsity. So that's a really good thing. We got some younger eighth graders probably going too. So well, it's going to be a new look. It's going to be team. a new look. And I think they're going to get used to a new coaching staff, but coach Lex Fold, I think he'll do a nice job. Well, I was talking to coach Lex Fold. I said, how's the team looking? Him and, him and uh, coach um, Olson there. I said, how's it looking? And they said, well, the section's looking pretty tough. B, uh, Blue Earth area, ranked number five to start the season in the state. We're in the lean in the mean category in the guillotine.com. Right. So we're... <coughs> We're very capable. It's just let's get some more experience here. Yep. And, and they're gonna, they always play a tough schedule. Yeah, and that's when, you do, yep. and that's when you do it. Is now is when you get ready for those for those playoff for those section yeah. meets. So good luck to them. Okay. Uh, but let's, before we end, let's let's just talk about some of those individual yeah. wrestlers. Sure. Carter Quam back. Yeah. He's Ray Olson back. Unbelievable. Uh, Tyler Craig back. Um, Dylan Bartell had some varsity experience. Owen Scheffler back. Logan Myers had some experience. Yep. Isaiah Thompson had some experience. Um, who, who are we missing there, Blair? Armani. Armani's coming back as uh, yep. one of the heavyweights. Um, I don't. I don't know if I'm missing anybody, but those are the kids yeah. that I remember watching with, in our classroom yep. at the state tournament. And uh, you know, that was a great experience. They're going to have to carry the load now. Yep, they it's their turn. It. It's their turn. So good luck to them. Be fun to see how that season goes for the Knights. Uh, before we go, remind you, there's a choir and band concert Monday night here at the auditorium. Uh, we had a chance to see the choir rehearse la yesterday during school. We're going to watch the band tomorrow, and I'll tell you what, if the if watching yesterday is any indication of how good a concert's going to be, it's going to be through the roof. It's going to be great. They, they do such a nice job. Our music department here is so awesome, and they, yeah. they, they get so much out of their performers, and it sounded just awesome yesterday, and I can't wait to hear the band tomorrow. Well, I'm going on Monday, Blair, and it, it's always a great time. My, my little girl's like going. Yeah, it's awesome. I really like listening to those uh, percussion ensembles. Too. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to that. I, I think we might have misspoke there. There might be one senior wrestler. Is Owen Scheffler, or is he a junior? Gosh. Once you had these kids in classes. I like didn't have that group. I do need to see I can't remember which so grade they're in. We'll have to figure it out. Anyways. Oh, Alex Johnson's back, too. Yeah, Alex Johnson. Alex yeah. Johnson. Gosh, who else am I missing there? Jay help Johnson. if we just got a, 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 a roster. Yeah. If we pull the roster up. But, hey, our show prep, not much. <laughs> So, Don't hey, th that. thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the season, as Bill Walton once said, and uh, get out there and support your Knights, no matter what they do, basketball, wrestling, choir, band. Oh, and Santa's coming to town here this week. You Tonight know, I heard. And Saturday. Yeah, at, at Christmas and Juan Mingo Christmas in Kenyon. That's right. And I thought you meant on our show, you never know what's going to happen in a week or so. We, we've had a visitor <laughs> before. John? You never know. John? Hey, I, for some reason, I can never come to these. And then you tell me, you, you text me, Santa was on the show, and I'm like, yeah. no way. But then I watch the show, and it's there, and I'm like, yeah. how come I never get to be here? I mean, I always lose out on the Chester and Lester. Stuff. Chester and Lester was here that one time. <laughs> I mean, oh. Uh... All right, go Knights. We'll see you next time on Inside the Lair. Bye. Go Knights.